uh, crypto. I think yeah. when we first met yeah. uh, three years ago, maybe now. Yeah. Uh, CNBC set. I didn't know very much about you other than how oh, this guy on Shark Tank. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you knew anything about me. And I told you that fifty percent of my net worth in Bitcoin. I thought you were fucking crazy. And uh, well, that that's a, a nice way of putting it because I think on the segment what you said was I forbid you from. <laughs> I forbid I, you. I, I remember we were on the set of Squawk Box. Yes. And I thought, who is this idiot? Yes. Who, why would he put so much into one thing? You and know? and uh, and you didn't realize that uh, I think I was playing a game with you and you were playing a game with me because uh, right before the segment started, uh, they were at commercial. And we were all talking or whatever. Yeah. And uh, I was just kind of jabbing you a little bit, trying to get you to, to be excited. And then you you said to me right before, so you said, how much you know do you have in this? I said, 50%. The lights and cameras turn on. And that was the first thing you fired across. <laughs> <laughs> well, I mean, those that was then. and But in 2017, I had nibbled in. I'd start buying some Bitcoin and some... Um, you know, Ethereum at that time and a couple of other, I think US, uh, I can't remember when I bought my stable coins, but you know what happened to me? Because I'm in a highly regulated industry with, with you know, all my indexing and mm -hmm. all these financial services companies that I'm invested in. So I'm really regulated by the regulators. And I started talking about crypto and whoa, what a negative response back then. You remember it was, it was. Especially 2018 when it had dropped from 20,000 Bitcoin price to yeah. $3,200. So I got my wings clipped pretty, pretty hard by lawyers in Washington saying, you got to stop. I mean, you're, mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're a heavily regulated guy and you're out there on TV talking about Bitcoin, forget it. What, and you talk about it as much as you want or not. But like, I think a lot of people think uh, Elon tweets something or there's somebody who is really bullish who all of a sudden is a little bit more bearish and uh, they call it the tap on the shoulder. Right. right. The, the like, hey, knock it off type thing. Yeah. Is that like, a, you know, goes through the back door conversations and somebody just says, hey, you know, you should chill with that. Or is that like something that is uh, kind of more uh, stated, right, in terms no, of the way it works is I, I, I have to be compliant as per the compliance officers that work in these companies. Mm -hmm. Every single word I say, including this this podcast, is going to be re reviewed by compliance. Mm -hmm. And these are organizations I have to be compliant with because they have to be, they're telling the regulators that we are compliant and they mm -hmm. have to make sure that's their job. Yep. And so I, I started getting calls from lots of them in different companies saying, you're way offside and you've got to stop. And I did. And I, you know, um, it, what happened though, if only, it was only eight months ago uh, when the Swiss regulator, the French regulator, the German, uh, the New Zealand, uh, the Brit Britain, Switzerland, and Canada they started putting ETFs out. The regulators mm -hmm. had gone 360 or 180, whatever you call it, right? And I said, well, wait a second. Uh, I'm an investor in those jurisdictions. I have investments in all those jurisdictions. You know, I'm a global investor. I have them investments in all those currencies. I am going to buy some um, uh, Bitcoin as I can in, in those jurisdictions. We don't have it here yet the same mm -hmm. way, but it's coming, I would assume. Mm -hmm. And obviously the regulators have lifted their, their curtain or made it easier to do that. And so I started um, growing my position to 3%. Mm -hmm. I'm a five in the operating company. So we have 5% in gold, for example. I said, let's go crypto uh, to three. And we started buying coins and we started buying ether and we started you know, investing in a few other things. And then I started getting calls. And I think I've talked to you about this. I service uh, institutional clients mm -hmm. and sovereign funds. And they, they saw me on CNBC talking about my 3% weighting. And the phone lit up. It went nuts. And what was it about? It was about ESG. It was about this issue around sustainability and saying, where'd your coin come from? I bet they were mined in China. I said, well, who cares? It's all fungible coin. It's Bitcoin's a Bitcoin. It's awarded. It's a coin. They said, well, we're, you're supporting coal, buy, coal burning uh, miners. You know, this issue I predicted would explode. And I think I've been right on that thing. But it hasn't changed my interest in uh going long Bitcoin for a bunch of reasons, because I've gotten a lot more sophisticated now.